Like cars? Check out Never Ending Project Garage, my second channel where I bought an MR2 Spider, fixed it up, had lots of fun adventures with it, totaled it, and now I have bought a Bug Eye WRX that I plan to autocross and track. I also chronicle all my other ongoing car projects. It's more casual than this channel and a lot different, but cars are one of my other biggest interests and I enjoy sharing my projects with you. In today's video, we're taking a look at Forza Horizon 4 on the Potato Masher Pro and the Xbox One X. You might be asking, what's the Potato Masher Pro? Well, the Masher Pro is a PC that you can build for about $450 that is comparable to the Xbox One X. That means decent 4K performance in most games and usually superior 1080p performance compared to the best console on the market. I have an Xbox One X and I love it, so this isn't a video meant to knock the console. It's very impressive for what it is, and the launch video for my Xbox One X comparisons just crossed 1 million views, so thank you! But if you didn't know what's possible with a budget PC, keep watching. Like we covered in the regular Masters video in this game, the Forza series has had a rocky history on PC. I'm happy to say that Playground Games seems to have gotten their footing, and Forza Horizon 4 launched on PC as close to perfect as any racing game I've played in the past few years. Today we're going to be doing most of our comparisons at 4K and 30fps. The Masher Pro's GTX 1060 is getting close to 3 years old, which makes it impressive that Nvidia has just now released a successor, and that this relatively dated card is still capable of 4K at very high settings in this game. My normal frame rate overlay doesn't work in many Microsoft titles, but you can see the built-in frame rate counter in the upper right hand corner. Locked at 30fps, there were zero frame rate issues to speak of, so how does the Masher Pro compare to the Xbox One X visually? Well, in any game with dynamic weather, it's important to remember that a subtle change in sunlight, or a slight foggy haze, are both capable of making reflections seem a little duller, or paint a bit more vibrant, or other things like that. So I'll shy away from saying one platform is significantly better than the other, but I do think the Masher Pro has a few noticeable advantages. First is multi-sample anti-aliasing. At native 4K, many games do just fine with 2x MSAA or even basic FXAA, but the Forza series has always needed a bit more. Here it looks like the Xbox One X may be running at 2x MSAA to the Master Pro's 4x, and while zooming in and slowing the footage down makes the difference more noticeable than it would be otherwise, the straight lines on the backs and tops of cars are a bit more jagged on the Xbox. Next are reflections. While neither platform is exactly matched in weather conditions in both races, the Master Pro appears to have better ground reflections in the rain in this race, and better reflections on the back of the Escort in this one. It's possible that that's a coincidence, but I noticed the same thing across the board in all the races I ran before I started recording. There was never a huge difference, but the Master Pro's reflections do appear to be better. To me, those are the biggest differences between the two platforms at 4K, but let's get to the next section because there's been a big change to... As far as I know, Forza Horizon 4 is the first Forza Horizon game that lets Xbox players choose between 30fps and 60fps modes. Of course, the regular Forza series has had 60fps for a while, but this is new to Horizon because of the open world. If you want the lower latency and smoother visuals that come with 60fps, and don't mind the drop to 1080p, you have the choice on Xbox One X. So let's compare it to the Master Pro at 60fps, 1080p, and very high settings. The first thing that stands out is the paint color. This is the same car in my account on both systems, so it's possible that the Xbox One X uses a lower quality lighting preset, shader material, or something similar. It's also possible that the time of day is the biggest difference, but the Master Pro looks better. The reflections on the black piece of the Mustang are also a bit better in my opinion. Both platforms have stable frame rates, but the Master Pro has a slight edge. The Xbox One X doesn't offer an option for 4K and higher frame rates, likely because settings would be reduced farther than most people would prefer if it could run the game at all. At 4K and very low settings, the Master Pro can manage a stable 60fps, but you can see a big difference in overall visual quality between the Master Pro and the default 4K 30fps setting on the Xbox One X. If you hate 30fps, maybe you prefer this, but if it was me, I'd drop the resolution to 1800p or 1440p. It would be great if the Forza series started adding some real resolution scaling options to future releases so both platforms can continue to offer cutting edge experiences. I honestly was not expecting this, but the Masher Pro is superior to the Xbox One X in Forza Horizon 4. Admittedly, not by much, but considering my advice for Forza Horizon 3 was to not play it at all on any budget PC because of all its issues, this is a huge improvement for the series on PC. 
Still, you can't really go wrong with the game on either platform with this combination of hardware, and I'm happy to say that the Master Pro is still hanging in there. A big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Check out the Potato Masher and Xbox One playing Forza Horizon 4 if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and let's continue the conversation down in the comments where you can see the pinned comment from NeverEndingProjectGarage. Have a great day.